Hello, my lovely Libras, and a very warm welcome to your June 2023 horoscope forecast. So this month is relatively quiet. We've had a great tumult of activity these last months, changes of signs, big planets, Pluto and Aquarius, all sorts of things going on. Pluto will go back into Capricorn later this month. The eclipses are over. So this is an opportunity really to begin to integrate all of the changes that have been happening. Let me break it down, especially for you, my lovely Libras. On the fourth of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your third house. So this is shining a light on your mental activity. This is a wonderful time for developing a really good meditation practice or Tai Chi or yoga, anything that helps you to calm the nervous system and the mind energy will be really powerful for you at this time. This also may take you on a trip, a spontaneous travel somewhere, not necessarily somewhere very far, but you may just be going somewhere else for a bit of a change of scene. It also brings to a head possibly some kind of communications that have been going on for a while. So maybe you've been negotiating something and finally it can conclude or come to another stage with this full moon on the fourth. Now on the sixth of the month, we've got Venus, your ruler, coming to join Mars in the 11th house. Venus and Mars together are so wonderful for romance, they're so wonderful for peace and harmony between your yin and your yang sides, your female, your masculine sides, bringing them together. And this is wonderful for your social circle, for meeting new friends, for meeting who, new friends who could become lovers, or just really meeting people that you just have a real resonance with and you connect uh, with a common interest, a common goal, a common inspiration. On the 12th of the month, we've got Mercury coming into this ninth house. So quite a lot of activity in the ninth house for you this month, uh, lovely Libras. So this has to do with your spiritual journey. So important for you to really get more and more meaning out of every day. Every day has to have gems of connections with different people, of activating your creativity, of activating something new inside of you that you want to improve, that you want to learn about, that you want to study, that you want to share, that maybe you want to write about. All these are really wonderful energies that are activated at this time. Now, also on the 12th, Pluto will go um, backwards into your fourth house until the end of the year. So um, many of you may be looking at your roots, your ancestry, your history. You might be doing some more deep healing connected with family, connected with those closest to you. It's an opportunity to release an old skin connected with anything from the past that you may feel has been holding you back. So real opportunities for some deep healing. On the 18th of the month, we've got a lovely new moon in this ninth house. New beginnings, you might be going on a longer trip, planning some kind of a spiritual retreat or journey. It's great for meeting people from overseas, doing international business, and anything that really widens your horizons. This is a month for broadening out what you can take into yourself and broadening your image of what you are and who you can be. There's so much more to you. Maybe you have a small lens. This is widening the lens very much here in the ninth. On the 22nd, we've got the sun coming into the 10th and on the 27th, Mercury. So this is about taking the spiritual lessons, the things that you're working on, and bringing them into the world, either into your career, your work, your daily interactions with people, whether it's on the phone, online, in person. 
that you begin to shine that bright light of yours consciously with conscious good acts, thoughts, and deeds. So there you have it, my lovely Libras. I wish you a wonderful month. And I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subbing. Bye for now.